Okay, so how's everybody doing? So this is a bit of a channel update and uh, I want to just explain to you what I'm going to do like this spring or early summer. I'm going to take a bit of a break. Um, you know, life's funny, right? Like, I don't know if any of most of you know, but I think most of my subscribers know that I lost my little brother uh, just over a month ago and, and we just, you know, laid him to rest. And I didn't think it would affect me the way it did. It kind of sort of took the wind out of my sails a bit. And, um, you know, like you can't predict these things, right? Like uh, what I've done is I've been working on some other dioramas that some of you may know, uh, like Silver Creek. I'm just finishing that up. There's going to be a final uh, shortly on that. Uh, and just to give you some context, like S Silver Creek is part and parcel of, you know, the vision of this layout too, right? Like you might not think it is like this is HO scale 187, right? 187 scale HO. And it's a uh, shelf layout with some, you know, signature scenes and a small operation, basically sort of prototypically two mile kind of industrial uh, end of the line or last mile railroading. But like, let me just give you an example of like Silver Creek. If you wonder if it has any relevance at all to this scene right here. So this is actually the beginning or, or the tail end that eventually goes into the Fraser River, right? Under the tracks through a culvert, right? Silver Creek, which is up, which is in my area, basically. Uh, and it's one of my favorite places where I go fishing. So if you go up this creek and you go up, you know, further into the woods, right? You'll see Silver Creek that I modeled in 124 scale. So that's the method to my madness there, if anybody <laughs> was wondering, you know, but uh, as I said, like life is, is sort of funny, like can be cruel and blissful all in the same day, right? Like, uh, let me uh, just show you a quick clip of uh, like a day trip I took with my brother uh, fishing the other day. Like we go on day trips. So because we live in an area in the Fraser Valley in Southwest British Columbia, uh, there's like hundreds of lakes and rivers like an hour or two hours away where you can go like to get away. You don't have to go overnight. You can actually drive there early in the morning, spend a day's fishing, hiking, hunting, whatever. And then you can just be home almost for dinner if you want to be. But let me just show you, you know, tragedy and bliss all in one quick or one short day. So we went on this trip and we're going down the number one highway heading up to Hope up, up into the interior and uh, the sun is coming up it's beautiful and I guess a truck blew a tire front tire and the guy went off the road and if it wasn't for him hitting the meridian he probably would have hit oncoming traffic and it could have been just really bad but he survived the crash believe it or not and uh, so that's how the day started and then I'll show you quickly how the day ended just to um, give you an indication of how one day can can swing, you know, pendulum wise from tragedy to bliss, okay? Careful, Darren. There's a truck, a really bad wipeout on the highway. Whoa. Yeah, so there you have it, right? Like, you never know what a day you'll have in store for you. But uh, uh, just to give people an update, uh, like River Road, I've, I've uh, kind of pulled back a little bit. I haven't really been working on it that much because I'm building that tug that goes here, and it's quite involved. So it's a long series, and I want to make sure I cover it because there's so many valuable lessons and experiences that I share building it, which is uh, just down here 
kind of at the end of the line where construction is on a on a pause and a hold right now. Uh, she's right here, and then there's all the parts in the bag. So I've made quite a bit of progress, but I'm going to uh, uh, take a little bit of a break for a couple of the weeks uh, from this project because I have stuff in the can that I need to edit too, but I really need a break, like for my mental health. <laughs> like layouts are like that, and this layout is a lot of fun, and I don't want it to end anytime soon, as most of you know. So... Um, and the dioramas, like I do like to build dioramas because they pertain to the same kind of discipline or hobby. And they're always uh, keeping me sharp and I'm learning new things. So just in closing, I just want to say that this caboose I received in the mail, I ordered it over a year ago. It's by Rapido. It's a CP van caboose. And this is the the latest edition where it has constant lighting like like they have a board in it where the lighting like it won't flicker like it's steady lighting right uh, under uh, dcc i believe um and it's a beautiful model and i wanted it because there were cp cabooses in fact there are like there is still one on vancouver island and they would come in via the barge slip here okay like SRY does a lot of locomotive restoration, like passenger trains, you know, freight locomotives, cars, coaches, etc. So they're not only in the business of moving freight under their own tariff, because they're not under federal regulations. Um, they also do lots of restoration projects. Like right now, they're restoring some of the um, some logging uh, locomotives, SW uh, 1500s or SW 1200s, I believe. I'll just show you a quick pic of those. Well, there was a guy that just answered on my channel. Yeah? Like I just posted before I left and right away I get comments, right? Yeah. And he said, oh, he said, I was just down at Trap Yard the other day. I saw it down there. He said, I thought they were going to refit it there because they do that. That's our way refits a lot of other locomotives for other companies. Where's Trap Yard? Just in New West. We drove by it the other day. Maybe this is just a holding point for it. Well, why would they drag it all the way here from New West from their shops and then stick it here? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, right? Yeah, so that's what they do, this railroad uh, that I've chosen to model on this shelf layout. So I will be getting back, um, you know, sort of plugging into River Road this fall. In the meantime, I'm going to finish the, the tug build sporadically uh, this summer. And then, you know, some other minor projects, like I have some small model kits uh, that I want to add to this. There's just so much going on. I mean, even this area alone has so much more work to do, like little details, I mean. Like uh, I'd mentioned before, like in this area here, and then, you know, of course, i got to revisit this area here. There's a big gantry crane that, that with on wheels that I want to build for here a big yellow weathered gantry crane and it goes on and on so I'm very optimistic and very passionate about it but you know there's only so much time in the day right and we need to step away from our layouts too okay like here's just in closing some of the other bench work that I've yet to finish like the valance uh you know and fascia is done and then um, I can add a further extension right here, as you can see. So there's lots of footprint left. And then somebody had mentioned you have a plan. Like there's, I've always had a track plan. There's part of the schematic there, even though it's been revised, okay? This is this far end, or was. And that sort of yard you see up there is actually goes to the locomotive shops, which I haven't decided to do here. There's either going to be a plastics industry in this corner or the locomotive shops i'm not really sure yet but i am building stuff and this area here too i should mention was supposed to be sort of heavily architecture there's an overpass right here i built already but i got that up out of the way i don't want to get broken and then in here i haven't decided yet what i'm going to do totally i'm sort of at a bit of a crossroads um, I was going to do a sort of a finger of uh, new west minister architecture but if i do that's a huge commitment right like architectural modeling um, in 187, any scale is very involved. So I don't know if I want to be bogged down 
this summer with that. But the fall and winter coming, that's a, probably a good time to uh, you know to make a decision on that. Okay, so that's kind of where I'm at right now with the channel, and uh, I know. I've spread out the content a little bit, but I have to, right? Because we've got to maintain mental health. So, but having a lot of fun. And uh, I hope you are too. And I uh, wish you well with your layouts. Uh, if you're starting a new layout or you're re-inspired on an ongoing one, or maybe you want to start a new one or rebuild or replan, uh, just make sure that you set it up so that you have fun, right? Like you ought to have fun. And sometimes having fun means means stepping away and just uh, just ignoring it for a while, doing some family stuff or get into the outdoors or do some rail fanning. That's another thing I'm going to do. I'm going to do some rail fanning, okay, to get re-inspired. So uh, have a nice summer uh, and happy modeling and we'll see you all soon. Cheers.